Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at Moho Pro Tier Team. Um, I've been waiting a while for this, over a year, I think. Um, I've been going onto the forums and it's really trying to get information about it. And I think a couple weeks ago they announced it. Was it a couple weeks or last week? I think a couple weeks. They, they announced that they were going to release um, the new version and I was I was pretty happy about it. But then information started coming in and I gradually got a little more disappointed as things came in and then I saw the features and I wasn't blown away by it but it is welcome features. So let's take a look at how the application looks. This is the new Moho 13. Let me open Moho 12 for you so you can get a look at it. This is Moho Pro 12 right here. Uh, and this is Moho 13 right here. So I'm just gonna drag this down and take a look at this. Well, let me go to the preferences and return this to the default look. Um, default as well, so yeah. This is how the default Moho 12 looks. And this is the default Moho 13. There isn't much of a difference to be honest with you visually. Um, they look pretty much the same. But underneath everything, it comes with some new features. So let's take a look at it. They have new bitmap capabilities. What does that mean for you? And what does that mean for me? It means we can draw using raster layers now. Um, yeah. Which is welcome. I think a lot of people requested this feature. Um, and I myself thought it would be nice to do this with Moho to your team. Or Moho in general. Just having the ability to draw. Um, reason why I think it would be really cool was because now I can instead of sketching out a element or character in another program I could just pretty much draw right here and it works really good it feels pretty fluid it feels nice it doesn't feel tedious to draw with it feels smooth and that's cool so what's next with this? What's what's what else is new with Moho 13? We have custom bitmap brushes, custom bitmap brush creation, which we went through already. Um, 3D object light manipulation support, 3D object material properties support, and the new action window. I guess we just pretty much went through this entire feature set right here. Um, yeah, the brushes seem pretty good. So let's let's try to import um, a 3D object. Um, so we go through this little nifty menu right here, and we choose 3D object. Um, so we can browse. I use the pulse. We could bring in a bomb. Let's try the. Which one should we try? Uh, we'll try the purse because it has a little more geometry. Uh, we hit create. And there's the purse. All right, looks good. Now let's see if we could get some movement. Moves nice. I I do like this feature. It it is pretty cool in the sense that we could implement a 3D workflow with Mo a little easier instead of animating here and then sending it off to composite. Um, this is cool, this is really cool. Let's see what option let's take this guy out first and see what options we have available to us. Okay, this is cool. Um, I made a object um, let's see if I can import the object. Now let's bring this on in. 
So this works with only OBJ objects. Um, yes, create. And there it is, a chair. And we can move it. Let's see if we can add some materials to default. Let's choose matte one. Browse textures. And we bring in the PNG and nothing happens. Matte two, matte one. Um, okay, great, it would success. And here is our chair object. So, oh, this is so cool. So we could bring in props and other things. How do we scale this down? And we hold control and we move it away. Bring this here, bring, grab this purse. This feature is really good. I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, 3D object light manipulation. How do we do that? How do we do the light manipulation? Um, lights. Yes. Let's see. Nothing happens. Let's see. Okay. Intensity. Okay. Like nothing. I'm um, okay. Lights. Okay. Something happened. Nice. So we can use this to really change how the light works. Uh, let's crank the intensity up. Yep, this is pretty cool. All right, great. Let's move on to something else. New action window. Let's see how this looks. So windows, action. Great. Let's create an action. Nice. This is cool. I like the aesthetic of it. Um, I, my only thing is I wish they applied this to other things like the uh, where is it there's the actions and there is something else on um, docking blend morphs blend morphs is it blend morphs nope it's not blend morphs um, so when you let's create a bone we'll see what it is when you make a bone Okay, let's take this bone and oh it does it does work with this here as well oh this is really good so moho 13 yay or nay i i would say nay <laughs> i feel so disappointed by the entire ordeal of waiting two years for this and then having these while it was good updates it was so underwhelming i mean we at least we got some bitmap capabilities yeah yes, that's pretty cool and some 3d object capabilities and a new action window but look at this this is moho 12 and this is moho 13 i i felt as though we we should have gotten a new ui i mean look look at the the change from anime pro to moho 12 i believe that was some really good features even the design on some of the um the, the characters I, I told was a little bit. I really do like this the lizard guy. I think he was well done. Um, actually, they all are good, but I think aesthetically, I really liked Moho 12 content. Um, and the overall product was really good. It, it offered a wealth of features. It was compared to Moho 13, was there. Yeah, it was. Is it was beer bones? It's yeah. So would would I recommend you get it? If you uh, want to, yes. It's your money after all. You could get what you want. But if it was up to me, I would wait for a moho sixteen point five or fourteen and let them do something a little better. I mean, this this personally, I feel as though this could have been a better release um it is still a competent software if you need to get it get it 
For me personally, I don't think I would be getting more Hotsu theme. I think I would be sticking with 12 for the while on just using it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks guys. Enjoy your day.